you probably can't see it very well. There's a house here. What a house to have with this view. Imagine owning that house though. I'm looking out over that. You can just see the, the mirror in the corner there. Oh, it's a sea of reeds actually. I think I'm about to say bye bye to the mirror as I head inland. What a view. Right, I've just, uh, I've got this road to do, it's a bridle way. I've got to do this down to the end of these trees and then I've got a, got a left turn. But I, I needed to say that this bridle way in this area and that hall I just referenced, that's Wasand Hall. This is the Wasand Estate. And the public can come and look at the hall and view the hall. Um, but it's been owned by the same family, the Constable family, since 1520. Can you believe it? The same family have owned that hall. And I think 1952, it was registered by Heritage England, I think, as a Grade 2 listed building. I thought I'd go and check what it was, rather than just ignorantly walk through the area. So now you know. This is a proper old drinking trough, I think. It's probably 1970s for all I know, covered in moss. Right, getting to the end of this little road, I either continue on or I think I'm supposed to go down here. Uh, there's a little path here, you can see. Yeah, the sign's there saying go down there. Oh no, it's telling you to go diagonally up here. There's the sign. And you can kind of see a path heading this way. So, that's the way I'm going to go. come through a little gate there and now I think uh, I've checked well I know I've checked with Google Maps and if that rooster shuts up I'll tell you that I've got to go through these mounds here in this very odd field yeah welcome to Hobbiton again Hobbiton too in fact everywhere here is Hobbiton looking so you can't really can't really avoid it shut <laughs> Not quite sure what these mounds are. Although I think I just passed a World War II bunker. So maybe it's something to do with the war? Maybe it's just slag heaps. It's a molehill. Scourge of the farmer. I'll zoom in a little bit, but you can see those smoke trails. And that's parachuting people, right? to have a little sit down and some coffee I think. Since I've ended up in this field with some sheep. But we can see but there's a little baby lamb there. It's not quite like being at the gym this exercise.
So, in order to recharge the camera battery, I keep putting it away because I want to enjoy this as well. You know, just get in my own headspace and enjoy this. Um, a couple of cars just gone past, and it's got me thinking about it is nice to drive through countryside in a car. You know, you look out your windows, it's beautiful, you feel good, you've got music playing, you're comfortable. But quite often those trips, certainly in the UK, which is an island, small island, uh, quite often they, can't, they might not be long-lasting journeys. You might get a little bit of countryside for, you know, 10 minutes and then you're back to main roads and blue signs and green signs and noise and, and whatnot. Thinking about walking is that it could be two hours of this pretty countryside and it's uh, decidedly therapeutic. I was thinking that when I started to walk, you know, the excitement of starting this new little journey, this new trek, all the things racing through your brain about what's coming up. And then once you get into it, that goes away because you're experiencing it now. And all that's left, once all that thinking's gone, is uh, nothing. You start thinking about nothing. It's the nicest thing in the world. The main road goes down that line of bushes over there. And then there's a public pathway sign across here. Now I was aware of this, cutting out the corner of the road. And I find, although this is, um, you know, it's not a looked after path, it's a very clean field, grazing field. So, I'm going to take this cut out, which actually means I have to walk through a farm, which is um, a bit awkward. But I've just seen a farmer and he was so nice that um, I'm hopeful this guy is going to be too. So everyone's nice around here. So I just walked across this field, walked along the line of that hedge, down this field. There's this electric fence here. Uh, you can see it. So I had to shimmy under that. And here's the farm. And I think I was supposed to probably have walked through the farm. But uh, I'm now on this exit road here, which is apparently a public pathway, so I'm not feeling bad about it. And I'm doing it nevertheless. This reminds me of being in Dallas. When I went to Dallas, I went to the South Fork Ranch. And the entranceway to go up to the ranch is just like this. Nice, huh? Right, so at the end of this drive, coming down to the lane, and it's pretty much, I cut that corner off over there. It's the same difference really. I could have stuck to the road. Glad I didn't. But, uh, yeah, so I would have come down there. Instead I cut the corner and came down here. And now I head down here for a distance. Uh, uh, you walk, when you're walking, I like to walk on the opposite side of the road to cars coming me from behind so I can I'm facing the cars coming towards me even though this lane technically is only wide enough for one car but I don't have my headphones in I'm listening and if I hear a car I'll step onto the verge and wait for them to pass I've seen videos of people doing walks and uh, they put their headphones in and uh, I'm not judging them, I mean obviously they do and enjoy the walkers in whatever way they, they please, but I, I choose not to do that, simply because um, I like the sound of the countryside. So it gets a bit built up and I start hearing cars again. I might put an audio book on, or I might listen to music, I've got nothing against music, it sounds like I hate music. Nothing against music, but it's just my choices. And, you know, try it. Try not having your headphones on when you're out in the countryside and just listen to the wind 
the birds. Uh, that's it basically. Just come out of the road section which, which, which is sided by uh, the hedges and now I'm walking across a field. <laughs> well I guess it's two fields because there's a, a road, tarmac road right in the middle. Lane I should say. I'm getting quite a close up of these uh, crops. I'm just amazed how neat it is. You know it can be so industrial, such a massive scale and yet just incredibly neat. I'm guessing, you know, that's technology, isn't it? Doing an amazing job. This side is blossoming a little bit more than that side. But, uh... I wonder what it is. Look at this. I'll pick that up and put it in my bag. So this is, uh... I've done four miles according to my technology. Um, I reckon I've got another two or three to go, four, five, six, seven. I'd be surprised if it's eight. I really would. Uh, I, I can't tell you how much I'm enjoying this. I mean, I'm, I'm knackered. My legs are killing me. Stamina-wise, I'm fine. It's just muscles. But I'm gonna stop for a break, probably down here. Next bench I see basically and uh, have some coffee and some water and I haven't brought any food though I am feeling very hungry but uh, I'll have some potatoes when I get in. A junction. Do I go right? Do I go left? Do I go straight on? Well, let's look at the options. That way, I reckon. So this is a key moment of my trip. Because, if you look down there, it's a very long straight pathway. And likewise, there's a very long straight pathway down here. Hull to Hornsey. But Hornsey's that way. That's where I'm heading. And at the end of that pathway, which is a long straight road, Is the end of my journey. This is part of the Trans uh, Pennine Trail. It's the Hornsey Rail Trail. It used to join uh, old Hull and Hornsey uh, Railway in the East Riding of Yorkshire and it forms the eastern part of the Pennine Trail. Uh, this stretch I'm on from the lane I was on uh, will conclude my trip, my walk. Uh, it'll be about six miles in total. I thought it'd be eight. But uh, that's what the book told me, but it's six. Oh, it's because I skipped. You're supposed to start from the seafront and I skipped that part, that's why. So it's six miles. Still, good good for me. It's the longest I've walked so far. Uh, and this will literally bring me out at the, at the very starting point where I started, which is where most starting points are, where you start. I've been on this trail now, I don't know how long, <laughs> but uh, it's, 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 it's the hardest part of the walk because it's very samey, you've got bushes outside, bushes outside, trail, behind you, trail, as far as you can, the eye can see, and I foolishly just checked my progress on Google Maps <clears throat> and I was thinking this little bridge just ahead is the end. I was like, ah, oh, at the end. But no, this bridge is halfway of this trail. 
so I've still got ages to go. Uh, and it's, it's proving hard because I'm on concrete as well, a lot of the time, very hard ground. And my feet are killing me. I know, I'm a novice. I'm still a novice, okay? So be kind, be kind. I do have some good walking boots on. I've got water. I am prepared. But my feet aren't used to this yet. So we shall see how we go. Will I make it? Will I fall over into this bed of bluebells over here? Actually, they're not bluebells, are they? I don't know what they are. It's a butterfly here that seems to like it. As you can hear, this bridge is propping up traffic. Car noise. Not heard that for a few hours. I'm heading back into the noise. And, and here it is, the end of my trip. It's about six and a bit miles. Uh, this is where I started. I went off down that way. And uh, yeah, what an amazing trip. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Hi, thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, let me know. Write something down in the comments. And if you want to know when I bring out another one, you got to hit that little bell and it'll send you a notification. Uh, subscribing to the channel is hugely helpful to me. It encourages me to make more videos and do more travels. And uh, I appreciate you watching the video to the end because that's something that matters as well. So um, if you want, you can get me on Twitter. I'm at Fluctibus Flood. Uh, but otherwise, chat you down in the comments or see you next video. Like if you liked this video. Or you can be bold. And leave a comment down below. Hit the notification bell to get an alert so I can tell you I've uploaded a video, they are okay.